So today I want to share my technique for making sure that your sewing pattern comes into Marvel Designer at one to one scale. This will save you from wasting time randomly scaling the pattern to fit the model. To start off this tutorial assumes you are using a sewing pattern that fits the avatar's dimensions. You can find the dimensions for the default Marv Designer avatar on their website. You can find links in the description for this video or the accompanying thread to those dimensions. Also this method only works for sewing patterns that are to scale. So if you make your own real world patterns or buy sewing patterns you should be good to go. As a side note I found that size 4 and 6 and medium patterns fit the default avatar pretty decently and need only small alterations. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using GIMP. I'm using GIMP instead of Photoshop for this because GIMP has more tools that operate in millimeters natively. However, you could just use Photoshop and convert the centimeters to millimeters yourself. Firstly, or I should say first, we want to open up the sewing pattern. So go to file open, then you have to go and open your folder. And so I'm going to open up this um, pattern I made in PDF format. Now you want to first change the resolution 72. Click here to get this to show up proper. Then I'm going to change over to millimeters and hit import. Okay. Now I just want to go up to image, scale image, and change all of these to millimeters. Okay. Then I'm going to hit scale. At this point, I'm going to save this out. I'm going to save over my other one. All right. Now you want to make sure to take note of the final image size after the conversion. So I'm going to close that, reopen it. So it'll do its conversion thing. So I'm going to reopen my JPEG I just saved. And then I'm going to go up here to image, image properties, and look at the final print size. Okay. And this is the number you're going to use inside of Marvelous Designer. So I'll take note of that. But before I go to Marvel's Designer, I want to show you how you can double check that your size and proportions are accurate. You don't have to do this step, but it's a good step if you just want to be doubly sure everything is set up properly in Marvel's Designer. Okay. Now, this is a text box. Some downloadable patterns will come with a text box already on the pattern. Most don't. Um, and also if you want to make your own real world patterns and scan them in, you can add a text box to your own pattern. Luckily it only takes a few, well, only takes one step to add a text box of your own. So let's pretend this one isn't already on the page and go up to rectangle select. Just draw out a rectangle. Then go down to size and push millimeter. Change this to 60. 60. Now you have your 60 millimeter by 60 millimeter or 6 centimeter by 6 centimeter box. 
I'm going to add a new layer. And then I'm going to go up to edit. Fill with foreground color. And if you want to, you can add text to your box as well, just so if you open it later and you don't remember what size you used, it'll be a reminder. And you can easily add text by just clicking this tool, typing in your text. You can center it. You can make the font bigger. You can change the size of the font. I mean, um, sorry, change which type of font you're using. If you like. Okay. And then move it wherever you want. Position doesn't really matter in this case. And then you can resave your image. Save it again. All right. At this point, we're going to open up Marvel's Designer because we're finished with GIMP. Now, inside Marvel's Designer. We're going to make a rectangular box like always by clicking the tool and left clicking. Now you want to put in your image size that you looked at before. Mine was Now, I want to add my pattern to this box. So go to Surface Properties, Surface Texture, click here, browse to your file. Here's mine. All right. You can drag and drop patterns onto these rectangles, but I prefer to do it this way. Now we're going to add our text box. Same way. Get your rectangle to tool, left click, and put in 60 millimeters. Now you should be able to line it up and see that you have a match. Now I know the pattern is in scale and everything is in proportion real world proportion the real world scale so I'm going to delete that and at this point you can go ahead and trace your pattern like you usually do if you need any help with that there are Tutorials are already on Marvel Designer's um, website for that. But if you want me to make a tutorial specifically for that, let me know. I'll leave a message to my YouTube subscription page or the Marvel Designer thread for this video. And we can look into that. But to save time, I've already traced this and made an outfit out of it. So I'm just going to open it. Now, this is the completed pattern sewn together. The top came together without the need for any random scaling or alterations. This was a medium size pattern 
real world pattern by the way and I hope you found this little tutorial helpful see you next time